hello guys uh, so welcome to my youtube channel so let's uh, see how to uh, make a wi-fi repeater using a esp8266 module so let's get into video so guys uh, this is my module uh, esp8266 module i ordered this from uh, aliexpress i got this for two dollars or three uh, nearly those price uh, so let's see how to make convert this uh, module into a wi-fi repeater so guys uh, you need these two, uh, three files to convert uh, that module into wi-fi repeater uh, i'll uh, put uh, those two links in the description box you can uh, download from there uh, First one is uh, ESP uh, flash download tool. You can download from here and the, the other two files is here in github uh, file uh, 0x0000000.bin uh, 0 0 0 0 0 and uh, 0x02000.bin file. Those two bin files are the needed files to convert that uh, module into Wi-Fi repeater. So I have downloaded those uh, three files in a download folder. Here is the three files and uh, flash download tools uh, 3.9.2 software is in a WinRAR file. So you have to extract here uh, and go to that uh, folder and uh, open this software flash download tool 3.9.2. Uh, Then here select ESP8266 and develop mode ok and open the folder here is the interface when you open the software uh, from here you have to select those two files those two bin files first one browse from here and go to download uh, select 0x0000000 file then open and uh, put the ticks here for the, these two boxes uh, and the other one browse 0x02000 open and you have to uh, type the uh, files names here in the here okay you have to type in the correct real names here uh, 0 simple x 0 0 0 0 0 and the other one is 0x0200000 those are the two files and uh, make sure you have selected ticks here and uh, SPI mode 40 megahertz is uh, sorry SPI speed and SPI mode is QIO and deselect this and uh, you have to connect the module uh, to your computer through USB. After you connect, you have to select the uh, COM port. You can see COM port 4 is here. And the board rate is uh, 230400. First of all, you have to erase this uh, module. It will take uh, two or three minutes to erase all the files in your module so let's see when it's uh, erasing you can see download after it erased uh, you can see here uh, it's finished until it shows finish you have to wait So guys, uh, now you can see it, uh, it shows finish. Uh, now it's uh, erase all the data in the module and you have to remove the USB and uh, plug it again. Then uh, select the COM port again. Board rate is same like before. Uh, then press start and wait for two or three minutes to finish. 
you can see this bar is uh, filling it's uh, when it's finished okay now it's finished the file has uploaded so you can close uh, this software and uh, remove the USB and plug it again and open the Chrome web browser and the, this uh, this is now this module is a repeater Wi-Fi repeater so so you you know at uh, as usual uh, Wi-Fi repeater uh, they have uh, their unique IP address to change the settings like those things so this Wi-Fi repeaters uh, IP address is 9 uh, sorry 192.168.4.1 that's the IP address before you uh, type IP address you have to connect with this repeater so your repeater's uh, SSID is my AP so you can see here uh, default it's come with uh, uh, open network so you have to connect with this repeater and press uh, type this IP address and connect go to that page so you can see these are the settings with this repeater so STA settings means uh, SSID and password uh, the the SSID name of uh, you want to that repeat SSID that means you are if you have your home router so that that name should be type here and the home Wi-Fi password should be type here so I typed uh, I'll type here my uh, home SSID and my password So okay, I have typed here my SSID and password, and then click connect. So then you will, you can see the new settings have been sent to the device. So wait here. So yeah, after you can uh, send the uh, Wi-Fi SSID and the password, it will automatically disconnect, and you have to uh, connect from here again my AP. Uh, go to IP address again so you can see SSID and password have been uh, saved so AP settings mean uh, your uh, Wi-Fi repeaters SSID and password so you have you can give a password here or you on or, or else you can uh, give it uh, normal way that means uh, you can use it as an open network uh, so I'll give a password here two three four five six seven eight nine so this is my password and then click lock So after you have you send the your a uh, my AP uh, Wi-Fi repeaters uh, password, you have to reconnect to the your my AP network. So here you can see you have to enter your that you have given password here. One two three four five six seven eight nine. So my password password is that. So let's connect to. So you can see it has been connected to my AP to this module so you can see here your passwords that you have given to the module so let's go to Google so it's working now and the, now this my Wi-Fi repeater has been uh, connected to the uh, my uh, home Wi-Fi router uh, my home Wi-Fi router is here 
so my this uh, new Wi-Fi repeater is here so let's go to Google Maps so yeah you can see it's working properly so this is how you can uh, convert this ESP8266 module into a Wi-Fi repeater so I have uh, tried uh, once uh, this module with uh, my uh, DJI Telo drone I can control this uh, with through this uh, repeater but I can cannot uh, get the uh, video that means FPV uh, interface I cannot get but I can control uh, uh, this drone so that's the issue you can control uh, con connect this uh, Wi-Fi repeater with uh, this drone and you can get uh, uh, proper range with this uh, repeater but you cannot get a uh, video interface with this but you can control so that's the issue with this uh, repeater and the drone connection so that's all so if you like this video uh, if you have any uh, questions please comment in the comment section and uh, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. So thank you. Have a good day.